This is an Armed Forces of the Republic of Croatia's individual combat ration type 2. It's a 24 hour ration that was sent in to me by Crombat Rations, another MRE reviewing channel run by some awesome dudes, Demir, Asger, and Bison. Hey, thanks so much, guys. So let's check this thing out. And um, yeah, they, they do some really great reviews. Definitely check out their channel. I'll put a description below. But yeah, let's see what this is all about. Just a simple cardboard box inside. All right, so it essentially says the same thing on the outside packaging as it does here. Armed Forces of the Republic of Croatia, individual combat ration. And there's an expiration date here of July 20th, 2017. So definitely in date. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, so this is some sort of instant orange drink. Yeah, that's right. Got two 15 gram instant orange drinks. Um, 60 grams of peppered biscuit. That's pretty cool. Um, so what's that? Got some pineapple rings and some papaya. All right. Oh, so here's a instant black tea with peach flavored enhanced with vitamin C. Got a nice 50 gram bar of chocolate. And we got 385 gram packs of biscuits. I'll give you plenty of those. Along with, um, oh, not bad, 400 grams of beef goulash. Let's see what we got here. Some beef luncheon meat, 200 grams. And 95 gram thing of liver pate. Two honeys. Let's we'll see if those are crystallized or if they're looking all right. Cavabon. Some coffee bonbons. And an 18 gram pack of chicken soup. Oh, right, and uh, three wet naps. All right, let's get this laid out. Hey, this is looking pretty neat. But you know what I'd really like? Is if we could get that breakfast out onto a tray. Nice. All right, so I started with um, these pineapple bits. And that's what they're looking like. Looking pretty hefty. I mean, geez. These things really actually don't look too bad. I kind of can't wait to try. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to try one real quick. Oh, yeah. I feel like I could use more than a 50 gram pack of these. It's just bursting with sweet pineapple flavor. Oh, wow. Definitely something that'd be easy for me to eat in the morning, actually, too. So I'm just going to go straight for this liver pate. Oh, this is. I like the color on this. Smooth looking texture to this. Here. And we'll be putting this on a cracker in just a second, but. Oh, and it doesn't have like a very strong iron like smell to it. You know, metallic. It smells very fresh and. Mmm. Oh, wow. What a smooth, airy, and creamy texture. And it's not strong at all. It's just very mild. That's definitely some of the best military ration pate I've ever had. <laughs> definitely gonna throw it on one of these crackers real quick. Just says Kex. 85 grams. That's by August 17th, 2017. Yeah, this was a really fresh ration. Thanks to Mir and Ashley. Bison. Yeah, you guys definitely gotta check out Crombat rations. But, mmm, those smell nice. Very mild, kind of buttery smell to them. You get 13 crackers in a pack. Check that out. Kind of has a nice little whole grain look to it. A little bit robust. Here, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this pate on there. Just going straight for it. This would definitely be something you'd want to start your morning with. You know, something mild, easy to eat. Mm. I was expecting that cracker to be a little bit dry. It's not whatsoever. It's absolutely delicious. The cracker is mild, nice whole grain kind of flavor to it. It's not too dry, like I mentioned before. I'd be starting my day with that tea. It looks like this and the Cavabon's about the only caffeine source in this thing, other than the little bit you'll be getting in that dark chocolate. So, let's start the day right. Oh, that's a really nice, oh wow, tangy raspberry. Look at that. Vitamin C, citric acid raspberry undertone, you know, with a black tea. Very nice. It smells like it's of good quality. 
I know this is going to be good. Not bad. Look at that honey. You know, perfect. Sometimes you get these honeys and they're crystallized and, you know, not all that great. This one is looking perfect. Yeah, that's a nice sight. That's a great quality honey. And my only complaint with it is there's just not enough of this stuff. It has a slight botanical kind of flavor to it. It's a really good flower honey. All this reconstituted pretty well. It has a nice caramel color to it. it. Smells like raspberry, black tea. That has such a nice natural raspberry flavor. Mm. And like some sort of other maybe lemon citrus undertone. Definitely what you want. A little caffeine, some sugar. All right, after all that other awesome stuff, let's try out this Cavabon. Original taste of coffee. Nice little parchment paper wrapper. I think it's pretty cool. Oh wow. Oh, it's chewable. Oh wow, that's amazing. So you can bite in real easily. It has a rich mocha flavor. It's creamy, it's chewy. It's one of the best candies I've ever had in my life. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the best part of the breakfast meal. Followed up by the that fantastic honey, the crackers that aren't too bland or too dry, and these tasty little pineapple candies. And you can't forget this tea. This stuff's amazing. Mm. Well, that's it for uh, breakfast. Let's move over to lunch. Breakfast was a home run. And for lunch, we're starting with um, some beef luncheon loaf, um, an 85 gram pack of Kex, and of course, some papaya, 50 gram pack. If it's anything like that pineapple, hey. And um, 15 gram um, orange drink mix. And this stuff's like only for, I believe, seven ounces. So, yeah, we'll just throw in a little cup. And, uh, an 18 gram thing of uh, soup mix, instant soup mix. So let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, all right. So I first wanna start with um, throwing in that orange drink mix. Smells pretty much like um, Formulation C from a meal cold weather or Tang. And I can actually smell that stuff from here. It smells like cheap orange juice. Kind of like it. Like some really interesting from concentrate frozen orange juice or something. Yeah, that smells great. But it doesn't really taste like how it smells. It tastes kind of thin and overly acidic, but for some reason I still like it. Anyway, let's check out the papaya. It's probably a good source of vitamin C, so you know. That's the main thing for that drink. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like there's pineapple and papaya in there, like it's a mixed fruit. Pineapple, papaya, maybe even some dried mango. Not bad. Alright, so let's check out this beef luncheon loaf. These things are a real hit or miss. Luncheon loaves. This one looks pretty good though. Check that out. A little bit of fat marbled on the side. That's always good. It's actually a sign of quality if you ask me. And so far, this Croatian ration has definitely been of quality. All right, now let's just add that hot water to the soup. Just has a nice mild chicken broth and noodle kind of smell to it. It's looking pretty nice. Stir that up a little bit. Mm, that's a really nice natural herb and chicken broth smell to it. Let's give this a little taste real quick. Oh yeah, it's definitely a very nice mild flavor. A little salty, but that's just what you need. Not bad. All right, let's go for that beef luncheon meat. Oh, it cuts through pretty easily. I thought it was gonna be more firm. Hmm. Very mild flavor. And um, a nice smooth texture, easy to chew. It's not too dry. I can imagine that being very filling. Just this right here alone would fill me up for lunch. But if you could sit down, 
And you could you could then have some soup, or if you were on the go, just having uh, some dried fruit. You know, you do have options. Let's check this fruit out. Yeah, nice papaya, mango, and pineapple. Mm. Washing it down with that. That's really nice. This is very tangy. This is very sweet, the fruit. It's hard to differentiate the actual different fruits. Pineapple, mango, papaya, they all kind of taste the same. They're very candied, as you can see. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and later on today, I'm going to check out dinner. Here's um dinner. Got the peppered crackers. I'm looking forward to those. 85-gram pack of Kex, and some more of that vitamin C drink. This actually tasted lightly seltzered, like um, carbonated, just a little bit. 50 gram bar of chocolate and some, oh yeah, honey. And then of course, beef goulash. Big old 400 gram can of it. Huh, look at that cow. He's looking at you. He's saying, hey, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, all right. So, well, wouldn't mind checking out that beef goulash right off the bat. It's no big deal. Figure out a nice way to, oh well, there's no real way to check that. Well, let's get that heated up. I'll bring that back over, but in the meantime, I really wouldn't mind checking out the rest of this other stuff. That beef goulash is going to be awesome, I know it. But, we're going to be checking out some pepper crackers. Yeah, a little brittly, so going right, oh wow, they smell like gingerbread cookies. Cool. They didn't hold up their form, but you know what? I'm excited to try those. They look and smell pretty decent. Yeah, see? It's kind of like a gingerbread cookie. Okay, so it's a Croatian ginger snap. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> Super awesome. And let's strip open the text. All right, while well, that goulash is heating up, I want to check out that chocolate and get this taken care of. It's almost like a little paper wrapping. It's not... Yeah, it just feels, yeah. Oh, wow. Not oxidized looking. Nice looking chocolate. Very cool. Look at those little squares. Check that out. <laughs> Neat, cool 50 gram bar of chocolate. Get that going. Look at that. Did you see that? Hmm. I added hot water and it really made it fizzle. That stuff tastes a lot like some sort of vitamin C flavored Alka-Seltzer almost. All right, now check out the beef goulash. Man, this stuff smells incredible. And look at the pieces of beef. This really reminds me of the quality of uh, beef cuts in Russian IRPs. Hands down, this looks like some of the best goulash I'll ever have. Mmm. Yep. And it is. That's actually better than the Russian goulash that I had in the uh, Mountain Ration. So much better. This has a more natural and higher quality flavor to it. I mean, this gravy that's in just it's rich, but natural. Literally, oh wow, this is so savory and the cuts of beef are tender and high quality. Look at that. That's incredible. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best military rations I've ever had. Like, <laughs> thank you so much to Mir and Asger. Wow, that is incredible. And finishing it off with some dark chocolate. Hmm. And that dark chocolate's on par with the Polish or German or Dutch quality. Nice hefty 50 gram bar, absolutely delicious dark chocolate. Finish it off with another one of these. Pretty much what are ginger snaps. Those have such a nice crunch to them. And the cinnamon spice flavor, it really has a seasonal flavor for me. It reminds me of Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> these things are awesome. The only thing that can make them better, throwing some world-class Croatian honey on one. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna be wishing I could have this moment again. This ration is pretty hard to get. There's a sweet and honey cinnamon spice. It's like, this is just the best thing. And this is what, if I ever get another one of these, I'm gonna save both the honeys for the spice crackers. <laughs> that's decadent. Well, I'm gonna soak a couple of these in here. I know that's gonna be awesome. 
have myself some dinner, enjoy these spice crackers and this dark chocolate, and sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of this Croatian ration. Thanks so much again, Demir and Asger from Crown Bat Rations for sending this in. And uh, this is a Croatian Armed Forces individual combat ration type 2. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video and thanks so much for watching. I'll be coming back at you with something new or old. Alright, cool. See ya.